Hello once again YouTube, how are you doing today? This is your old friend Trevor Slescu, owner of Monster Hobbies, and today we've got some brand new model kits which will be coming soon to our website, and that's at www.monster-hobbies.ca, and we have a new website for model cars exclusively which interacts with this YouTube channel down in the package merchant shelf down below, and that is www.monster- or sorry, monster hobbies online as one big word dot ca so without further ado let's open up this great box from stevens international and see the brand new model kits for this week so it seemed to work pretty well last week the way i filmed this with this big huge box sitting on a tv tray and enough room to put the models in the back so i'll just use that format again so here we go Oops, I banged the tripod there. I've got my good old Scout knife from 1986. And we've got that super brown packing tape Steven loves to, to pack these with. So let's just open this up. Got a US priority mail right here. Now this package, I don't know if I'm gonna say was supposed to, but it would have been nice if it showed up on Friday last week. But it's Monday this week, so that's just sort of how it happened. And unfortunately, I don't have enough money to actually get a, another package for next week. So for now, this is as far as we're going to get with it. So I hope you enjoy what's here. I've got a lot of stuff on, uh, on the website as it is. <laughs> I've just put 64 model car kits on monsterhobbiesonline.ca. So if you're into model cars, there's a lot for you. Pretty much everything that is a model car that I have. I didn't put those garage guys on there though. I don't know. If you think I should, let me uh, know in the comments down below. All right, let's see what's in here. And I did get one or two things for me. So if you see doubles, one's for me. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? Stuff to fill holes and, of course, a lot of Chrysler because I only had five on the website. So to start with, we got this wonderful AMT 1959 Chrysler Imperial. This is the hardtop customizing kit. I know this one has been out for a long time, but I don't have one and I need to fill up Chryslers here. So this is the big Imperial. So I'll put that there, and then I got one for myself, like I was saying. So here is a Mobius model. This is the 1965 Plymouth Satellite. Yeah, 65. Again, another really neat kit. I don't know how many people have actually built this. If you're one of them, let us know in the comments down below. Pretty cool. Okay, I got one of these because I did an unboxing of it. And a lot of people said they liked it. So here is one that now you can buy this one as soon as I get it up on the websites there. I picked up another 41 Plymouth, the Coca-Cola edition. Again, a really excellent kit. Comes with a lot of neat, cool features. I got this again because we need something under Plymouth. And here's another Plymouth, AMT's 1969 GTX convertible. So there we go. Those are neat wheels. Check that out. <laughs> okay, not back there. I got one for the new kids because kids don't build models anymore. So all the youth are gonna prove them wrong. Prove them wrong. Get your 2009 Dodge Challenger RT. Show them that uh, you can build something cool. Looks good, all right. Okay, I got a Cadillac, custom Cadillac Lowrider. The Lowrider drives a little slower. <whistles> so that's a good one. Over here we've got Mobius's Mobius 1956 Chrysler 300B. So that's a good one. That's Gooder. <laughs> Real neat kit. I had a Volvo in Denmark that kind of had the front end of this. Similar. 
They called it the Amazon over there, but over here they call it a number, and I don't know what the number is. Here's another one I did an unboxing. I bought this for myself, but I thought now I would get one for all of you that want to build this kit, the four-door 67 Chevy Impala from Supernatural. And there's the, uh, the guys. Fortunately, I've got this nice glare right here off of my daylight high beam bulb up there. We have the Fire Chief kit, the 1970 Chevy. That's another Impala. Now, I also have not the police truck or van, but I've got the fire rescue van. That's on the website as well as on monsterhobbiesonline.ca. So again, check that one out there. This is kind of cool. It's got the dog dish hubcaps on there. And the other Impala didn't have that, the regular Chevy Impala for 70. So there's a few modifications in that kit. Then we have Christine. Wow. There it is. Our 58 Plymouth Belvedere, which of course you can always build as not Christine. It's painted a different color. Okay, I got a restock item here. We have the Monkey Mobile again, because I ended up selling that one. So here's a replacement for anyone that's interested in it. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. I also did an unboxing of this one. This is the 78 Dodge pickup truck. Comes with a little motorbike as well. Really cool kit. There's a lot of uh, decals on here. You can even have a lawn mowing service. Unfortunately, there's no 25th scale lawnmower that comes with this kit. And then we have all of this on the side again. The nice Chrysler engine. Or Dodge engine. Speaking of Chrysler, there's the 300M from 1955, I believe. Again, another really cool kit. I'd like to build one of these. You don't get too many of these early Chryslers. I think Mobius is pretty much the only one making them. Okay, speaking of early Chryslers, we also have the 1932 Gangbusters Chrysler Imperial 8. This is also a restock, but from so long ago, I don't know if you guys remember that I carried one originally. This one is cool because they replaced or brought back the motorcycle. Any of you that built some of the early editions, this was always missing. But these guys are here, and one of these guys is supposed to ride this motorcycle. And there was always this one guy that never fit in the car because, like, his head would be sticking up through the roof <laughs> or above the windshield or something. So I think he's supposed to be on the motorbike. But anyway, the other guy's all hunched over. So we've got the 71 Plymouth Duster 340. I think this one came out again recently. There it is. Let's see if there's a date on here. Nope. <laughs> but yeah, another good one. Look at all the features on the side. We've got our bucket seats and the six pack, nice wheels, the twin scoops for the hood. And then here we have the 1965 Plymouth Belvedere number one, Mark one, I, I guess. And again, a nice little cool kit. Would make kind of a neat police car, actually. And there it is from behind. So look at all this Chrysler power. <laughs> Mopar power. 74 Plymouth. We got the Roadrunner. Now, I unboxed one of these a long time ago, but it wasn't very precise on the inside. And there's a couple other weird things. And round two retooled a whole bunch of stuff in here to make it accurate to the 74 Plymouth and even got the pad printed tires on there. So one of the things they did do was fix the dashboard because that was the wrong year or something weird. So again, if you want one of these, now it's accurate, whereas the older version was inaccurate. Wow, this goes on forever down here. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's some cool stuff. All right, so here is a not model car. It's another uh, restock of Wyatt Earp because I had sold one. I think I sold two actually. Ah, and then there's one. My my older sister would love this. Nissan Bluebird 1600 SSS from 1969. Now, over in America and Canada, this was known as the Datsun 510. Now, unfortunately, one came out, and it my sister had the two door, 
and it was a two-door and it was green and it even came with a little female figure and I was too late to get that one of course <laughs> so here's the four-door I have two because I'm going to build one there's the second that one's mine all mine <laughs> and then here's another one we got a Nissan 2000 turbo GTES now this one is really quite interesting uh, 1981 Aoshima I don't know how many of you have built it, these Aoshima kits they're on the internet on YouTube I've seen people build them but you don't see too many of them built if you know what I mean here's another one the Nissan 2000 GTX this one is also from 74 so just you can kind of see a bit of the the Chrysler influence sort of thing on these in a weird way see the back end there uh, I don't know it's sort of got circular tail lights like a Corvette but again really interesting stuff here huh, I can do a what's in the box they didn't seal it <laughs> I'll put a little tape on there just to keep everything together that's pretty cool. Actually, I should bring back that other skyline. Let's just do the same here for a minute. There we go. So it's molded in white with a black undercarriage. Chrome parts, clear. You could pretty much build this out of the box. Although it looks good in black and gold. Okay, so we'll put those over there. And last but not least, for you fire truck fans, we've got the big uh, ladder chief, the American La France. Again, this is a really big, big fire engine. I think these come out in the late or mid 50s, maybe up to 1961, somewhere in that kind of scheme. But again, really nice stuff. Look at how long the ladder is, it extends all the way out. This would be, make a great diorama with those 70s. Uh, Rescue van and fire chief and all that. Rally red, competition yellow, American La France red or polar white. Authentic fire truck colors. That's really nice. So those are all the models we have. I hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> That's all we have for this week. Uh, next week I don't have anything coming in. I think I think we all need to kind of rest and catch up here a bit. But I'm always looking for the new stuff that's coming out. And I'm also saving up for that, for the 1960 Ford truck that's coming out. And hopefully, if it's not too far behind, the 1963 Ford pickup truck. So I'm going to pace myself a bit, rebuild my funds, and then we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll not order for the summer unless something major comes up. So anyway... Just hang on and see what happens. <laughs> so thanks for watching this. And until next time, happy model building. And we'll see you <laughs> in the next video. And don't forget, you can get all these kits at www.monster-hobbies.ca and the model cars. And I don't know if this is going to get on there. But all of that stuff is on monsterhobbiesonline.ca. You can also get there by going monsterhobbiesonline.com because it'll redirect to CA. It's the same thing anyway. My new Shopify account. All right, everyone. So see you in the next video. Hey, where'd Trevor go? I thought we we're gonna do this unboxing video together. Hmm. Lots of new stuff. <laughs>